Have you ever wondered why your Fire TV stick, whether you have a Fire TV Edition, a Cube, or one of these Fire Sticks right here, tends to just get a little bit slower the longer you use it? Well, you're not alone, and I'm gonna show you in today's video how to change just a few settings on your Fire TV stick to get a massive improvement. If you wanna know about this, stay tuned. All right, everyone, I have you on the TV, as you can see. Now, I am using a 4K Fire Stick, the older model, 2018, but what I'm gonna share with you works on all devices. It doesn't matter which one you have, you can do these settings. So why am I doing this video? You will be shocked with how much data that Amazon actually collects on you and sells, and they make money off of you based on what you use, based on what you allow as far as pop-ups and ads, and all of that can be changed. It also takes up a lot of resources, default out of the box. I'm gonna show you that really quick here. So if you look at the screen and you go to any show, you will notice that, for example, I highlighted over Reacher, a new show by Amazon, and you can see that it is playing. Now, not only the video is playing, but if I turn it up, the audio is playing as well. So now that's taking up resources on your device. It's also uh, adding to the cache on your device, which is taking up storage. It has a lot of negative effects. You may like having the video. You can even specifically turn off the audio and just let the video play. That's up to you, but it does take up storage. So that is something I wanted to tell you guys about. You can actually turn that off. So in the future, when you go to Reacher, it will be that still image that will not play just the still image so it does save a lot of resources especially if you have you're using a hotspot or you have limited data where you are with your wi-fi so that's something to consider we're going to talk about how to turn that off but not only that they're actually selling your data they're they're collecting what you are using how much you're using what you're using what apps where you've browsed all that information is being sold to other people so Let's turn all that off. Let me just show you really quick how to do it. So if you go to your settings section right here, the two sections we're going to focus on, and you know, in past videos I've covered all the other sections, but this is one that I haven't covered as much as I should have, and it is the little bit of the display and sounds. Just really quick on that, we're gonna talk about screensaver and how it collects cash, and it's not necessary because most TVs have a screensaver anyway. So that's gonna be there. I'm gonna show you how to turn that off, but everything else is gonna be here in your preferences section. Preferences is really where we're really gonna delve in on this video. It's gonna be a quick video, but I just want everybody to know where to go to fix a lot of these issues you're having. If you notice your fire sticks getting slower and slower the longer you have it, it's probably because some of the preferences you have. I wish that it wasn't defaulted this way, but it is. And most electronics, unfortunately, are that way because they not only wanna sell you a device, they also wanna sell your information to others to continue to make money off of you. A lot of people don't realize that. So we're gonna go ahead and go into that. So let's go into display and sounds really quick. So screensaver, what is screensaver? Well, screensaver really simply is this right here, what you see behind you. And you can set your pictures, your family photos, you can just use the default, which is what's here now. The problem with the screensaver is it holds cache. Every time that screensaver plays, it records it, it saves it as temporary memory in the form of cache. Now this cache is stored on your device and it could take up a lot of resources. And fortunately, you only have so much available to you on your Fire Stick. Now this Fire Stick, I have external storage, so I've got plenty of space. But typically you only have about, maybe if you're lucky, two or three gigabytes after all of the built-in apps. So you want all that you can have available to add your own apps to it, to DVR stuff if you want to. There's a lot of things you can do with a Fire Stick. So the reason why I say turn it off is because most smart TVs, and I would verify with your TV that it has this, has their own screensaver, it turns off. It powers down for you so that it doesn't burn the image on your screen. If you have an old TV, then maybe leave this on and just deal with the lack of storage. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine off. All you do is go to start time, never, it's off. Now it won't collect that data. So that's a big deal. You can free up a lot of space if you go into your settings and clear the cache on your screensaver. You'll see what I mean. I bet you there's over 100 megs, maybe more, in there. So you can go ahead and do that on your own. And I've shared on other videos how to do that. It's all done in your applications right here. I'll just show you really quick. Manage installed applications. And then you find your application. Internal only because I have an external drive. Uh, but if you go down here, you can just select whatever one and then go ahead and just click on it and clear cache just like that. Really quick, really easy. So you can do that with your screensaver and you can see how much is in there. You'd be surprised how much is actually stored in there. All right, now that you know about screensaver, this is the most important thing right here. Now this is gonna be the preferences section. So in preferences, open it up. You'll notice a few sections I wanna focus on. One 
is your privacy settings. The second is data monitoring, notifications, featured content. So let's go over each one really quick and why you wanna change these things. So privacy settings is the first one. Let's open that up. There are three sections on here, your device usage data, your collect app usage data, and your interest-based ads. Do you really want any of this stuff? Do you want them to collect your your data? So right here, the device usage, they're actually, it says right here on the right-hand side, use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement pur purposes. Look at that right there. It says what it does for marketing. They're selling your information. They're seeing what you're using. They're selling it. Same thing with your app usage. They're going to look at what apps you're using. For example, let's say I'm using an exercise app or, or multiple exercise apps. What do you think they're going to do? Well, they're going to notice that. They're going to collect that information. They're going to sell it to companies selling exercise equipment. I don't want those ads. I don't want those emails. I don't want stuff in the mail. Interest-based ads, same thing. So this is going to be like pop-ups, redirects, things that are going to pop up on your screen, marketing based on your interests, things that you've searched for maybe on the web or other things on your Fire device. So let's turn these off, guys. We don't want that. I mean, who wants that, right? So let's go ahead and turn them off, every one of them. No more ads, no more marketing, so much better. All right, second section, data monitoring. Same kind of thing, they're monitoring your consumption. How much data are you using? Well, it's none of your business. I turned that off. Uh, notification settings, this is pop-ups. Do I really want that? Well, you can have that in some cases. Let me talk about that. You can turn do not interrupt on and that would just deactivate all of them. Or you can go into specific ones and turn them off. I do like my Alexi, Alexa ones because I like to know when there's new shows out there. But Analyti, I don't need that. Aptoid, nope. Atlas, nope. Uh, Cinema HD, absolutely not. Discovery, no. I have a few of these already off, as you can see. I do leave my ExpressVPN on because I want to know when somebody's trying to hack into me. ExpressVPN will let me know that they protected me from that. So I like to know also when it's on and off. I do leave Downloader on as well because when you download apps, you need to know when it's done downloading and it will pop up and let you know. So I have that on. Okay, so you can go through and turn them all off that you don't want, but keep in mind things like Downloader, okay? You definitely wanna keep those ones on so you know it's done downloading. All right, next one, featured content. In the beginning of the video, you noticed that Reacher that I was sharing you with, that when you highlighted over it, it would play the video. That takes up resources. That will actually slow your network down eventually. So you can turn that off right here. You have two choices. You can just turn the, you can turn the video off or you can turn the audio off or you can turn both off. It will just be a still image at the top. No more video playing. Saves a lot of resources. Easy, quick one to do, okay? I really appreciate you guys watching today's video. Hopefully you got something out of it. If you're new to the Fire TV Stick, congratulations for finding this video when you did because you're not going to have any of the headaches that some of the people that have been using the Fire Stick for a long time might have encountered with these little simple settings. And I gotta tell you guys, I've been using the Fire Stick for many, many years. It's a great device once you kinda learn how to use it and how to set it up. And today's video was all about how to set it up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, feel free to comment right down below this video. Thanks again, everybody, bye. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do us a favor, just hit that thumbs up right down below this video. Share this video with those that you think would like this as well. And don't forget to subscribe. We have tons of videos on this channel just like this, so make sure you check those out as well. Thanks again, everybody.